well, it never rains, but it pours, they say, and things aren't getting any easier for Wigan. Tonight, a really tough must-win game against one of their rivals. Come on, Wigan. At least it's dry. The big term in football these days is massive, and it's massive. I think if we win today, that, that'll give us like the confidence to kick on, really, and just keep going till the end of the season. All on tonight's result, I think. If we win tonight, I can see us pulling away. If they go down this season, they'll never come up. I'll be happy with the point. With Wigan's manager Paul Jewell already facing an FA charge over comments he made concerning referee Phil Dowd earlier this month, this game started with another decision to raise the blood pressure. But the FA have backed Rob Starr's decision to show Fitzhall a straight red card. With Charlton manager Alan Pardew an intrigued onlooker, the relegation plot was about to thicken. I don't believe in must-win games unless they are must-win games, and must-win games to me are ones that if you lose, you get relegated, or if you don't win, you get relegated. Teams of armed police are on the streets of South London tonight amid fears that gun crime is out of control. Tonight, three teenagers shot dead in 12 days. It's been said that sport can transcend problems in society. So here I am in North Peckham, in the centre of some of London's most notorious estates, to see how Greenhouse Bethwyn Football Club is trying to achieve just that. Go, 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 go. On this side, we've got the North Peckham estate, which is... Um, now it's been notorious for the Damiola Taylor and the Damiola Taylor stabbing. And then you've got the Owsbury estate over this side here, which is the largest housing estate in the whole of Europe. Please, best friend. Rapid, please. A lot of these kids are young and lost, basically, and even myself, I feel lost. A circle, please, yeah, not a square, not a diamond, a circle, please. Come on, gentlemen. There's been a spate of shootings locally, you know, just in the last few months, and it's still there was a few last year. And what seems to happen with myself is, uh, you know, I hear about it, I look in the, you know, I read it up in the press, and then, um, the gentleman who was basically stabbed over in Southampton Way, you know, I looked at his name and I thought, I know this kid, you know, I know the name, I know the name. And I realised that, you know, he's one of our kids who used to play for the clubs two years ago. If we'd basically been given the support, you know, funding there and then, we could have basically started our men's team a lot earlier. And maybe we could have had that young gentleman actually been playing football with us rather than being out doing what he, what he, um, what he was doing. And, um, you know, a lot of kids are caught up in a negative cycle. What we try to do is use recreational activity to guide them out of negative cycles and, um, and try and make them see the bigger picture. Is it tough out there for, for, for young people in this area? What would you be getting up to? It might be influenced by other people going in the wrong direction. So do you think these guys out here need strong role models? Yeah, um, most definitely. Um, you know, as I said, it's, it's hard because I feel like we're competing against you know, negative role models um, out there. A lot of them need the consistent in their life, they need that structure. And a lot of these young guys do want the discipline as well. Ishmael, what's that please, Ishmael? What, are you stretching your ankles? 
We don't tolerate bad behaviour. We don't tolerate um, antisocial behaviour. We do not tolerate um, um, swearing, bullying. And the carrot for, for, the, for a lot of these kids is the football at the end of the week. So if they're here, they need to attend training if they want to play on Saturday. Is that they, your criteria they, they, to that, play, yeah, not, this is, not how good they no, are? No, it's not ability, ability at all. Don't get me wrong, we've got a lot of good, able players here, mm. but we believe that we need to develop their life, school, life skills, things like their punctu um, punctuality, their attendance, their general attitude to things. All your hands up, and if you basically come down, all the way down, all the way down. Okay, there's no need to worship me, let's get going.